Now, the Eastern Cape's Department of Rural Development may soon face animal abuse charges. This after thousands of sheep were transported on an unseaworthy ship destined for the Middle East. The department insists it's done everything by the book, but the National Council of the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals says it's taking legal action. The SPCA's Meg Wilson joins us now in studio. Thank you so much for joining us. 57,000 sheep, that is a large number. Is this a trend? Is this something that that's happened before? This is a huge amount of sheep um, and apparently not going to be the last consignment for this year. They do intend to do another one of a similar size but before the end of the year. It's the first time in South Africa that live export this on such a large scale has happened and to such a far distance but it has been happening from Australia for a number of years. Now, some of your officials were there in the Eastern Cape when, um, you know, the sheep were uh, taken into the vessel. Um, you know, what were some of the things that they told you they witnessed while they were there? I was actually one of the people in East London when it was happening. Um, and from the very beginning, the handling of the animals was inhumane. Uh, they were very rough. A lot of them were being smacked in the face or being pulled by the, the fleece, um, which is very cruel. And when they were on board the ship, after the first day of loading, the ammonia levels were already high in the lower pens. Um, we ourselves, our eyes were burning, our chests were tight when we were down there. It was very difficult to breathe. It was very hot. And they're living in their own excrement. They do not intend to clean the ship until the sheep are off board at their destination. So for the next three weeks, they'll be living in their own excrement. You were there. Where were our government officials, vets from at least the Department of Agriculture and um, Land Reform? They were there very scarcely. Uh, we saw them only on Thursday afternoon, and that was after we issued a media release saying that they were missing in action and we hadn't seen them. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, you worked, for instance, from the 3rd until the 4th in the morning, and, you, I mean, you've lost the battle. You had to watch the, the, the vessel leave with the sheep in it. Um, but what, what's the way forward from here? It was... A very heartbreaking time for our team. A lot of us couldn't even keep it together when we were on the dock watching them leave. Um, but we managed to gather enough evidence over these last four days of loading to be able to put together an application to the High Court and take them on and take them on review and make sure that this never happens again. On top of that, we are laying charges against the national government as well as the provincial government for animal cruelty as they were forewarned that this would happen. They knew very well that if they allowed this to happen, there would be contraventions of the Animals Protection Act, so they can't claim ignorance in that fact. And then, of course, the handlers and the Almawashi company that are registered in South Africa for cruelty as well. Well, thank you very much, Meg Wilson, for joining us.